Hey YouTube, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Vintage Game Finder and News Mazda 07, of course. Um, today's episode is uh, another pickup of a lot that I found online. Um, I like to think it was a better weekend than the last video, but uh, I'll go ahead and let you be the judge of that. I picked up a lot of. Uh, Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo games and one PS2 game and uh, I'll go ahead and just start stacking them up I'll say the title and uh, I'll give you the top three of the whole lot uh, towards the end uh, I'll try to get into a couple of the games but I have so many that I just gotta breeze through as quick as I can so uh, let's go ahead and get started that PS2 game I was talking about was a uh, Summoner which I believe was a launch title uh, that is complete in box and uh, from the look of it it's not that bad um, but I don't remember anything good being said about it in the first place but then again at that time I was more into Dreamcast than anything else so I got that uh, now we'll move on to the Genesis they're common titles and they're fillers uh, for the most part, but there's certain titles that I got doubles of that I was looking for for part of my collection anyway, so it it was a win-win more than anything else. Uh, I got Hardball 94. That's, that's complete. Uh, most of you know when you collect for, for Genesis, these tabs get very weak. So that's pretty much what happened there. I did not rehearse that. Uh, next, another sports game, I know, but I, I don't have a soccer game for my Genesis yet. So I managed to get FIFA Soccer 96. That is complete as well. Next, uh, another sports game. This is another baseball game. I got like maybe five or six of them already. This is uh, the gold edition of Triple Play. One of the last... Uh, titles from EA Sports for that system. Next, uh, a lot of people hate this game and I'm one of them, but it's good to have in the collection. Like I said, you want to have games that are common, games that are obscure, and games that just suck. And uh, this is one of them. Batman Forever. I enjoyed the, ver the version of Batman Forever for the Sega Saturn, but not so much for the Genesis or the Super Nintendo. It was really bad. If you haven't played it, uh, just look it up on YouTube and if there's even anybody brave enough to put a video of a walkthrough on this game. I got a complete in box, of course. Uh, then after that, they're loose, but like I said, some are doubles and some I needed for my collection anyway, so let's just go ahead and breeze through them. Uh, Prime Time, starring Deion Sanders. Madden 98. Miss Pac-Man, World Series Baseball 96, NFL 95, uh, let's see what else. Uh, come on, Animaniacs, got two of these, uh, Super Battleship, I believe I have another one. Somewhere. Yep, there's the other one. Uh, Tiny Toon Adventures Buster's Hidden Treasure. Got two of these. Bugs Bunny in Double Trouble. Some of these I don't even remember being out when I was into the Genesis back in the day. And it's going to be fun to play them. Uh, Beauty and the Beast, Roar of the Beast. Garfield caught in the act. NBA hang time. Uh, six pack. This one has Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, Columns, and Super Hang On. And hard driving. Uh, looks like we got five more for the Genesis. Uh, Jungle Strike, the sequel to Desert Strike. 
NHL All-Star Hockey 95. Primal Rage. Desert Demolition starring Rogue Runner and Wally Coyote. Seem this pretty much the Looney Tunes a lot uh, as far as uh, Genesis goes. And uh, I got another copy of Taz and Escape from Mars. Um, not too bad for Genesis. So we're going to be moving on here to the Super Nintendo. And then I'll give you the top three out of the whole lot. And um, some of you may be pleasantly surprised. And some of you are going to be pissed. Because I was able to find it. And um, most of you weren't. But, you know. It's the way it goes. Uh, let me see. I sounded like such an asshole for saying that. But I'm not. Okay, so I kind of retract that. Uh, let's go ahead with Super Nintendo. I got even more copies of uh, Super Mario World. There's another one. Uh, Al, Al Unser Jr.'s Road to the Top. Nobody messed that up. I got that. Uh, got a copy here of Frank Thomas Big Hurt Baseball. So now I have a copy of this for uh, Super Nintendo and uh, original PlayStation in the long box. Let's see next. Super Star Wars. This one I'm anxious to play. Uh, Tecmo Super NBA Basketball. I have a copy of this for the NES. Uh, another copy of Disney's Aladdin. Between this version and the Genesis, I I'm, I lean towards the Genesis version because um, the animation is a little bit more fluid and he has a sword instead of throwing apples. And uh, two more before I get to the top three. Uh, another copy of Gradius 3. Great shoot em up. And I was very happy that I got this, especially with the label and the condition that it's in. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest. This has uh, become a pretty good game and uh, currently my wife is playing it and she's enjoying it. Except for those bees with the thorns on them. They, if you don't get the timing just right, just it's really unforgiving. So uh, now we come to the end where we have the top three games. Uh, the guy that sold it to me, I, I like to think that he knew what he had. But, sort of at the same time, for what he let it go for, I I don't understand how I got it, but um, I'm really happy that I, that I did, and not some sleazebag reseller. Because uh, we, if you're a collector, you don't, you don't want that game to fall into somebody like, somebody's hands like that, you know. So, uh. The top three I have is Final Fight. Uh, uh, not the best version. The best version for me was on uh, the Sega CD, but still uh, a must-have for any Super Nintendo collection. You definitely need this. You need a uh, Super Double Dragon, uh, a couple other games I can't even think of right now, but I'm happy to have that. Next one is... Uh, Battletoads and Battle Maniacs. Don't remember this. I remember uh, the Battletoads and the Double Dragon on Super Nintendo. But not this game, so... I'm kind of happy that I found it. This is my first Battletoads game for my collection. On any platform. Uh, so it's, it's really cool to come across this. So, uh, happy to have that. And, uh, last, and certainly not least... I, it's been a couple days already and I'm still in a euphoric state, just at, just thinking of me actually finding it. I mean, it hasn't even been a year that I started collecting again and I, and I come across some pretty good games, some, some really good games. And this is one of them, Metal Warriors from Konami for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, 
Uh, I, I cleaned and tested it, and um, it was kind of hard for me to turn it off after a while because I, it, was, it was pretty cool to uh, watch all the YouTube videos and, 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 and talking amongst uh, friends in the, in, in the hobby, you know, they tell me that this game is not easy to find in the wild. So uh, I'm glad I, I got to get my hands on it. And uh, I'm pretty sure by now, at this point in the video, everybody's asking, uh, Neves, how much did you go ahead and buy this whole lot for? And some people like telling the price and some people don't, but I don't care because I already have the lot. So, I, I mean, it's, it's really uh, irrelevant for me not to say the price. And uh, that and the fact that I like being, I like to be brutally honest to my subscribers and to anybody else for that matter. I mean, why? Why sugarcoat anything? I bought all this uh, in the case that he gave them to me in. I bought it all for 80 bucks. So if you do the math, and I'll go ahead and let you do the math on your own, you're going to find out how much I got this game for. In the condition that it's in, no writing, no labels, none of that. It, it, when I took it apart to clean it, the board, the contacts weren't even that bad at all. I mean, he, he took care of what he had for the most part. So, uh, I'm very happy that I managed to pick it up. So, this is a, a lot of times people call me cheap, but at the same time, I'm saving whatever I have on the side for stuff like this you know when you come across a lot where it's more common games than anything else but you got a couple of hidden gems in there in that lot and he refuses to sell it individually just buy the lot you know like a lot of these doubles i'll keep one and i'll go ahead and put the rest of my trade pile so i have something to work with when i'm kind of low on funds which is the way it should be but um anyways uh thanks for watching like comment rate subscribe uh let me know in the comment section what kind of gems you found in the wild. Uh, that, that would be interesting to, to uh, go ahead and read. Uh, like I said again, thanks for watching. Oh, hold on a second. A lot like this, you got to celebrate. So, might as well open one up. <sighs> Very happy. Uh, until the next time we meet, take care of yourselves. And happy hunting.